In this section, we're going to talk about data and data types. And Python is a dynamically typed language. That means that it's different from statically typed languages such as C++ and C Sharp and Java. Those languages actually determine data types at compile time. Now, Python doesn't use a compiler. It's a dynamic language that just executes. And so the data types of variables and expressions won't be known until actually the time that that code is actually executed at runtime. But uh, we will take a look at the different data types that are supported and we'll see that there are a number of built-in data types within Python. And we'll talk about those. We'll talk about numbers and string and boolean. And so of course numbers are numbers. String is for text data and that's a Unicode representation. Boolean is a type that is either true or false. And then there's one called none which is used to indicate where a type is not known. And then uh, there's the file type, and we'll talk about how that can be used to iterate over elements within the file as a sequence. And then there are a number of sequence or collection type data types as well. We'll talk about those. There's the list. That's a mutable list of elements. There's dictionary, which is a list of key value pairs and a tuple, which is similar to a list, but its contents are immutable. And then we'll talk about set, and set is another type of collection, but unlike list and dictionary and tuple, set is unordered, and all of its elements are unique. And then we'll take a look at a very powerful concept known as comprehensions. It's basically a special compact syntax that can do quite often the equivalent of what you would normally do in a for loop, but it can all get done in one compact expression and it, uh, it can be very efficient and it can actually improve performance as well.